This channel is proudly sponsored by Dead Tree Studios, the publishers and developers of Dames of Astoria, a tabletop RPG where you play as monster girls, experiencing high adventure in a world that doesn't fully accept them. Please check out the links in the description and in the pinned comment. And the Red Room Publishing. Check out the link to their store for exclusive tabletop RPG products. They have recently released Wretched Armageddon, a dark World War II setting. You will find the link in the description and in the comment as well. Hi, welcome to this part of my review featuring the Walking Dead Universe tabletop RPG, The Core Rules. If you haven't seen the other parts of my review, Featuring this tabletop role-playing game based on the popular Zombie Apocalypse franchise, please check out the playlist in the description below. This time we are going to talk about Brawling. Brawling is a more abstract way of resolving combats, when there are several participants. I would highly recommend that you employ Brawling whenever there are more than perhaps 3 or 4 combatants. In the book it is said that the Game Master should start by drawing a map of the area. But this is not necessary at all. When it comes to combat rounds, brawls are divided into rounds, certainly, and in each round everyone gets one action. Actions normally require a skill roll. Besides this single action, you may also do quick and simple things such as shouting a few words, picking up a gun from the counter next to you, drawing your knife from its sheath, or pressing a button. The brawl ends whenever there is a logical conclusion to it. For example, maybe one side defeats the other, maybe one side runs away, or maybe both sides decide to stop this fighting. There are six phases in brawling. The first one is taking cover. You can take advantage from this phase by searching for a place that is secure that allows you to protect yourself. Then ranged combat happens, followed by close combat, then movement. Next first aid, and finally any other type of action. So there is a logical progression to things. And there are other nuances, logical nuances I would say, for example Overwatch, which is taking action outside of the ranged combat phase, in order to react or respond to a particular event in the battlefield. There is also leadership, you can bark orders, in order to grant bonus dice to your allies. And this concludes this part of the review. In the next part we are going to talk about damage and healing. Brawling is very simple. Handling brawls is going to be abstract but also very logical. So this is great, this is one of my favorite aspects of this tabletop RPG. However, the examples are truly awful. Just listen to this. Game Master. Phase 1. Taking cover. Mike and Tony both run for cover. Hannah, player 1. I also throw myself into cover. Perhaps that tree over there is close enough? Game Master. Let's see! Roll mobility! <laughs> Do you remember that scene in The Walking Dead when Rick suddenly started to talk to this voice in the sky? Asking the voice if it was possible for him to take cover behind the car right next to him on the street? No, of course not. So don't have a conversation between a player and Game Master that do not exist in the game world. Find out things through roleplay. How difficult is it to say? I take cover behind the nearest tree. As simple as that. If there is a tree nearby, you will accomplish that. If the trees are too far away, the game master will tell you. You cannot spot any trees nearby. And now you still get to take your action because it's a quick action. You have time to carry out your action still. Thank you for watching this part of the review. Don't forget to leave a like, a comment and subscribe. And thank you so much to those of you that are going the extra mile to support the channel. If anyone else wishes to further support the channel through PayPal or Droid for RPG, the information will be in the description and in the pinned comment. This has been Abraham El Jaguar, a professional game master. If you want me to run a game for you, please check out the pinned comment as well. And remember, in tabletop RPGs it's not about what you want your characters to do, it's about what your characters are doing. Once again, thank you and see you later.